Hello everybody, ready to make a great homemade souvlaki? You're going to need the following spices to do this recipe. First you need paprika, then oregano, cumin, some basic white sugar, salt, and garlic powder. That's what you'll be needing to make this great homemade recipe. Now let's put it together and you can make it at home. Okay everybody, now we're going to put together our little marinade here in this big uh, mixing bowl to get the sivlaki made. This usually takes about six to eight hours after you complete this. When you put the meat together, you put it in the fridge to about six to eight hours. But you can leave it overnight too. That's what I usually do and I cook it the next day. It makes things a lot easier when you're preparing uh, dinner because you've got other, a lot of other things to do in your day. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make the marinade. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to put the salt in. And I've already measured it off here. If you want to take a look here, that's how much salt you need. That's a tablespoon and a half of salt. All right. So you just dump it inside a mixing bowl. And uh, we have another product here today I'm going to show you. This is a secret ingredient. It's called the, uh, the cumin. It's right here. This is the one ingredient you don't want to mix up. The other ingredients are not so crucial, but this, you want to be very careful with it because it's very strong, the cumin. So all you put in is a half a teaspoon, that's it. Don't put in a full teaspoon, whatever you do, because this stuff is very strong. Aaron's going to show that for the camera there. See how much I got there? That's all you put in for the cumin. Very little because it's very strong spice. But that will make your um, souvlaki taste really good. All right, so now that we got the salt and the cumin in there, we're going to put in the paprika. And that's once again, is a tablespoon and a half of paprika. And we just dump it inside. And here we have the oregano. That's four tablespoons of oregano that I already measured out. All right, that's what's going to make your souvlaki give that nice, unique Greek taste. Mediterranean taste, I guess you would say. And we have the garlic powder. And um, we already put salt in, so don't use garlic salt, just use garlic powder. And that's a tablespoon and a half of garlic powder. And you put that inside. Once you have all those ingredients in, oh, I almost forgot. Good old fashioned sugar. This is just straight white sugar, and you want to put in about a tablespoon and a half of this as well. That'll make the meat come alive. So there's about a tablespoon and a half of sugar. That's it. Okay, now that we have um, all the spices all inside the bowl here, what we're going to do is we're going to add about three quarters of a shot, shot glass of vinegar. That's going to break down the meat and make it more tender so it tastes better. Put that inside and um, just some good old fashioned olive oil, uh, extra virgin preferably. And you're going to put in approximately about 12 tablespoons of oil. I don't usually measure it. I just kind of pour it in and I just kind of guess roughly about 12 tablespoons of oil. There you go. So it doesn't have to be exact with the oil. You just don't want to waste it because it is very expensive. So about 12 tablespoons of oil. And the last thing you need is a little bit of water. And you're going to use about 1.5 liters or about a quart and a half of water, and that's approximately. And you just kind of fill the mixing bowl, probably just, just to about half. And then you can always add some more water in later once you cut the meat up and put it inside. You just want to make sure it's completely sunk. And now, I'll just take a spoon, and I'll mix it all up. So all those spices blend with the water. There you go. I want to take a quick close up. And that is all you do. And now we'll go to the next step, and that's actually cutting up the meat. And that's going to be a nice little pork loin. See this right here? And I'm going to cut it up in little squares and then throw it inside the, uh, the marinade and put it in the fridge overnight. Or if you're in a hurry, you can pull it out in about six to eight hours. Okay, now we got our meat here on the um, table here. We're just going to cut it up. And uh, you just cut it up in nice little squares. 
so you can stick it on a kebab and um, get ready for some barbecuing. Uh, if you like this video, folks, uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you share this with your with your friends. And tomorrow, uh, my next video tomorrow, what we're going to do is we're going to take this out and we're going to barbecue it on the barbecue, and I'll show you a couple little techniques there on the barbecue to make it turn out just perfect. So I'll get back to this and cut it up into some squares and you'll see what it looks like in a few seconds here. Okay, I just uh, finished cutting up the um, pork loin. You can see I'm just making like little bite sizes are gonna go in a skewer and that's how you're gonna barbecue it. You also notice on the side here, I got some pieces of fat that I trimmed off here too. So if you see some fat on your pork loin, just make sure you do your best and get some of it off. And now you just take all these little pieces and dump them inside your marinade. And uh, the water level should go up in there as I fill this up. And you can see, now if you go take a look at the camera there, all those little pieces are under the water and that's what you wanna, that's what you wanna see. And just get a little bit of saran wrap, wrap it up, put it in the fridge to six to eight hours if you wanna eat it the same day or just leave it in the fridge for the next day like I do and um, pull it out, put it on a skewer and barbecue. So once again, um, take a look at my next video on how to cook this souvlaki and watch us eat it.